Life on the perimeter, one foot inside Europe, but only just. The past you're trying to leave behind, still in plain sight. It makes for brave faces, even among the young. Fearful of a return to 2016, when hundreds of thousands of mainly Syrian refugees arrived on rickety boats, rights groups say Greece is sending a message. Don't come. The main idea is to segregate and isolate them from the local community, from integration processes, and also the concept of deterrence. Greece plans to move asylum seekers to closed, controlled camps like this one, just opened on Samos. Prisons, say critics. They'll be guarded and away from population centers on five islands, including Lesvos. The Greek migration minister calls it a vast improvement. Much better living conditions, a lot more space for each asylum seeker with all the necessary facilities. Access to existing camps, though, is already hard enough. The Greek government insists that it is adhering to international norms when it comes to the treatment of migrants, refugees and asylum seekers. But while we've been allowed in to film the camp, we've also been told we can't talk to people. And we've had to have a government minder with us the whole time. And so we settle for snatched conversations by the roadside. We only can uh, go outside only two times every week. 18-year-old Mosin was born in Iran to Afghan refugee parents. He says Iran keeps deporting him to Afghanistan. <laughs> Last year, he and his family survived the fire that burned down the notorious Moria camp, squalid and overcrowded. Greece has since moved thousands to the mainland. But some islanders say it's not enough, that crowded migrant camps are unsightly and bring crime. We're not racist, says community leader Yanis Mastriannis, and it's not that we want them to be isolated. We just want to avoid problems for permanent residents. The fear for many asylum seekers, of course, is that they'll become permanent residents of a detention center. Their hard-fought-for flight to freedom coming to an end in the very place they'd hoped it would begin. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Lesvos.